up, we have a speaker who is me. <laughs> and uh, before we read, before I begin my speech, I want to read something to you guys. I want to read the actual, through the English language definition of the word drug. Okay? So what drug is, for our dictionaries, a medicine or other substance which has physiological effect when ingested or otherwise introduced to the body. So when you hear that, of course, anything's a drug, right? If you uh, do something you like, even if you breathe too much, that's going to cause endorphins to change. That's a physiological change. Okay, so don't think it's a straight up drug manufactured to heal or kill what I think. But uh, it's everything. And the reason, I, uh, what I'm talking about today is an experience I went through. And um, first of all, I want to start off by saying I am an addict. Uh, an addict of the worst kind. The substance I'm addicted to is, is the number one killer in this world. It trumps the death count of alcohol, heroin, other harmful drugs, and you may laugh, but I'm addicted to food. And I thought that too. I laughed. I was like, how, how am I addicted to food? It's essential. That's something that we need to survive. But the more I paid attention to it, the more I noticed my body wanting it, the more shakes I got from not having the amount of sugar I wanted or the amount of carbs I wanted, I realized I was an addict. So I began to think and said, hey, what's the one thing an addict does that pretty much stops it all? It's stop using it. So there's three central things that a human being needs. It would be air, you need to breathe. Water, because you would probably die pretty fast if you didn't drink water. And food. So I was like, I need to eliminate one of these. So I eliminated food. I went through a 14 day water fast. I did not eat one bit of food for 14 days. It was the most intense thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, I'm still fat, if you haven't noticed. So it, I didn't go too crazy with the getting skinny portion. Uh, I first weighed in at 249 when I first started. And I went down to, where is my number? 229. So it was, it was a pretty gradual weight loss. And that's the original reason why I started it. But then I started noticing the benefits that I've been reading about. I started noticing my body changing. I started noticing my mind changing. And it, it got me crazy. So I started researching more. I started looking out for more things. I found a very interesting story about a 27-year-old Scotman named Angus Barbary, who weighed 456 pounds, and he didn't eat for 382 days. So I was like, whoa, 382 days? You can do that? That is crazy. So I looked into it, and the last like 100 days, he took multivitamins, cheater. But, um, you know, but he did it, 382 days. He went from 456 pounds down to 180 pounds. He was a diabetic, high blood pressure, two strokes, all that cured, all that completely gone from the system, not on one medication. And I started going crazy. So I was like, what is going on here? I need to find out about this. So I did it, I started my fast. So today I'm going to talk to you about my experience, what I went through, as well as the benefits from my research. So starting off, there's four phases of the fasting, okay? You're going to go through a gastrointestinal phase, which is your body getting rid of everything inside your intestine. Once all that's gone, your body's going to say, hey, there's no food. So it's going to start taking your sugars. Gonna start taking your sugars once it starts gets rid of all the sugars your body's like okay well i need more food so it starts attacking the proteins but that's about one day right after the one day of the protein you go into a state called ketosis i don't know if you ever heard of ketosis has anyone heard of that it's wild we're the it's so wild we are the only not only i take that back we are one of the very few species who is able to biochemistry change from burning glucose as energy to burning fat as energy. And it's literally the reason why we're here today. Think about it. How did a human eat back in the days? You didn't know if you were gonna eat. 
you had to hunt for your food. And the, the main reason why they survived is because we have this ability to fast. Other animals, they died out because they're caloric animals. If they don't have a certain amount of calories in a certain amount of time, they literally die. And I, so I kept on going through this and I kept on realizing that I was losing weight, yes. But then I stopped and I looked. What my problem is, is um, I have kilo scarring throughout my entire body. Uh, you can't tell because it's a beautiful face, you know. But uh, I am. And um, what, I, what I noticed was 10 days probably, not even 10, like six days into the fast, my keloid scarring was going down. Almost gone. Certain parts of my body flattened out completely. And it's, it, it's something that like, I had to live with my entire life. I tried every medicine on the book. My skin never felt the sun hit it for the longest time until I met my wife. And um, you know, she made me comfortable to, ever, to have my shirt off and whatnot what not like that. And I just started tripping out because it's like, I tried every pharmaceutical drug on the market and I'm curing it with water. Like, this is crazy. So, let me tell you about this experience because I promise you it's not a good one. It's, it's very, very hard, very mentally taxing. It's so mentally taxing because days one through four, you're hungry. You, you want to eat. But then something happens on days five through eight. You're not hungry anymore whatsoever. You have so much energy. And what I like to think about is uh, the hunters back in the days when they had to search for their food. When they were hungry, they were able to see more vibrant colors. They were able to smell more because their senses wanted them to survive. And that's something that actually happened with me. And little tip of advice, if you choose to do this, which I recommend, talk to your doctor, of course. Of course. Um, don't walk into a restaurant when you're hungry. <laughs> it is the worst thing ever. It was my wife's uh, birthday on the 24th, and I went to a restaurant with them. I had to walk out. I said, yeah, I'm going to take like four laps, and I'll be done with you after you're, you're done eating. And um, it wasn't that I was hungry. I just missed the act of eating. And the best thing that I got from it was I knew my body was bored and just wanted to eat because that's what I do all the time. Stressed and I wanted to eat because it's something I do all the time. Or I was actually hungry, which I know now what my body does. My body literally will tell me, hey, dude, you're hungry. Go eat. Or, hey, you're bored. You don't have to eat right now. And it was, it was so phenomenal. Um, I did more research into it and... I found out uh, there's multiple facilities right now which are actually getting covered through insurance. I don't know if you want my job, but my job, I work through health insurance, and it's actually a covered benefit starting pretty soon. Uh, I believe it's starting now, actually. And these facilities, they'll get people, and they'll have them fast for 40 days. 40 days, and it, it's ridiculous, the results. They've literally reversed over 10,000 cases of diabetes. Reversed. Uh, hypertension, weight loss, everything like that. And it is... Like I said, I, I really urge you guys to look into this. It is crazy. And um, my experience was that um, I was full of toxins. Like, very, <laughs> my wife's already shaking her head. <laughs> I really was. It, it was, um, one thing that you're going to notice right away is your smell. The first couple of days, you're going to smell. Don't even go near anybody. Like, it sucks because your, your toxins are just being released. You're going to have a foul taste in your mouth because all the toxins are coming out. Uh, sleep disturbance because your body's getting used to the biochemistry of using ketones as opposed to sugar. Uh, my biggest problem was acid reflux. I don't know if you guys have acid reflux. It is the worst thing in the world. You can't sleep. You vomit acid. It's bad. And the first five days, I was literally vomiting acid like every two hours. I would drink like a gallon of water a day, keep all my water in, only acid come out. And it was horrible. I woke up in the middle of the night, uh, she would freak out, because I'm full of sweat, vomiting, like it was really bad. I almost wanted to stop so many times, but I just, the fact that it was healing me from the inside out was astonishing, so it kept me going. I did the 14 days. So, so, so proud of myself. It was ridiculous. 
I now have full control of my body. I, I know when to eat, when not to eat, and it's something I do kind of recommend, but I don't because it sucks, trust me, <laughs> like, like a lot. But it's the one way I found to get in tune with my body. I did meditation, I've done a, you know, spiritual, religion, whatever you can do, try to connect with myself, and it wasn't until I took away the one thing I really love, which is eating, that I learned a lot about myself. So, yeah, thank you for that, guys.